the double upload mat. Say with me now. In the building. What's good, y'all? Hope you're having a blessed day. You already know. Anytime we double upload on this channel, it's some very important stuff. So if you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like for more. And without further ado, let's dive straight into it. I think it goes without being said, and a lot of you guys, you probably know this if you pay attention, but I know some people don't, so I gotta say it. I don't know how many of you have actually noticed this or paid attention to it throughout the years, but it's a reoccurring thing. You really don't even have to pay close attention because these players will post this stuff all over their Instagram. Anyways, what I'm referring to and talking about is, have you guys noticed over the years, anytime a top college basketball player or top football player commits to a college, whether they're in high school still or at college, they're driving one of the best whips around normally it's the same car it's either a brand new camaro or a brand new challenger and i don't mean nothing by this and it's just straight up facts a lot of these players in high school and even when they're in college they don't have any money to buy that they didn't work in high school and you can't get paid to play college sports so there's literally no way they could buy that themselves also it's very common knowledge that a lot of these players grew up in below middle class situations and most of them were even poor now with all that being said you get what i'm trying to say a lot of these athletes before they even make it to the NBA or the NFL, they have these brand new cars. And I think you know where we're going with this. There's a new player to add to this list and he's one of the best players in the country and his name is JD Davison. Before I really dive into detail about this whole situation, shout out to the couple of subscribers that DM me this on Instagram. This video wouldn't be possible without you guys. So yeah, if you wanna follow my Instagram, I'll link it down below. But yeah, let's continue on. Yesterday, the number one point guard in the country posted a picture of him with his brand new car. And as you can tell, it's very nice. And his caption read one of one i'm rare thinking about running for mayor with a money bag of sign and green heart and i know exactly what you're sitting there thinking yo matt his family or mom could have bought this for him and blah 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 and yes you're right that could have happened and if you think that happened don't worry i feel like i can change your mind so just hear me out i'm almost 99 percent sure he or no one in his family bought this and i have many reasons to back this up so let's get into one first things first if you don't know anything about this guy all you really need to know is like i stated he's the number one point guard in the country. Every college in the country wanted this guy, but roughly a week ago, he wound up deciding to commit and sign with the University of Alabama. That's one red flag right there. It's only been one week since he signed with Alabama, and he already got a new car. Something doesn't add up right there. I don't know, maybe it could be a coincidence, but come on guys, let's be honest. That's one heck of a coincidence. That's just very, and I mean very, it cannot stress it enough, very fishy to me. Here's reason number two why this is very odd. I've actually made a video on this guy earlier on my channel talking about his story how he went from unranked to a five star in less than one year and i did a lot of research on him and one thing i found out about this guy and his family is that they grew up and still currently live in one of the poorest cities in the state of alabama so yeah i really don't have to say too much more about that it's kind of obvious that his mom did not buy this for him and if you're thinking oh maybe he's an only child and they saved up well that's not the case because he also has three to four brothers living in one of the poorest cities in the state of alabama and driving a car like like that it doesn't quite add up and i'm not here to criticize him or his family or anything about their situation because they really can't help that i'm just stating the facts i could be wrong however i just felt like there's too many things that point to other reasons you already know there was going to be some comments about this situation so let's head to his instagram bj Fromm spoke for us all he said how these five star dudes be getting bread before they get into the league it's facts it doesn't make sense i don't know how they're getting this bread but someone's cutting some cheese man nd said well we don't know why he went to Bama. I'm only reading those two comments because that's basically all it's talking about, but let me add something to this whole thing. After doing some very quick research, I've heard and it's been rumored around that he actually had that car before he committed to Bama. I'm not too sure about that, but I just saw it somewhere, but either way, why would he wait to post that till after he committed? And like I've stated multiple times in this video, I could be completely wrong about this whole thing. He could have bought the car for himself. He seems like a very smart and great young man. He probably saved up money or his mom or or even a close friend. But a lot of people approached me in my DMs and said it doesn't add up and it's fishy and when I think about it and do the research, it seems fishy too. It also makes for a cool video, you know, I love thinking about possibilities like this. It's almost like a conspiracy theory type of video and I love these. And as always, let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Is it fishy that he posted this car after he committed with Bama? Or could he have got it himself? And not just that, there's many other reasons and possibilities this could have happened. So let me know what you think down below. But hey man, with all this being said, that's about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family, hit that subscribe button, and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all.
Peace. And keep being great.